Hello everybody and welcome to The Relaxed Mail. I am your host Brian and today we're going to be talking about the Wenzel Blue Ridge seven person tent. This is uh, a review that I've been looking forward to doing for a while because this is my first tent to actually own in years uh, and I am have not been disappointed by this puppy as of yet so we're gonna be talking about that and showing you how to set it up uh, if you are new to the channel please feel free to and I ask you actually to just click the uh, subscribe button uh, down below and help us to start getting our numbers up and really need to start working on on getting our the numbers for uh, uh, subscribers built up and that's I'm gonna start pushing that a lot here uh, soon so if you there's uh it would be be tremendous so if you happen uh if you if you click like that would give me a big old uh, big old happy and i'm just uh, i would thank you greatly so anyhow let's get started on putting together the wenzel blue ridge <music> Start off with to you come, when you get your 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 tent. It comes with just everything you guys you're going to need, and uh, so I would like to go ahead and just go through the process of setting it up and showing you what it has. So normally when when you first buy the uh, buy this, it's actually going to come in a case, and inside the case is going to be a box, and the box has got everything for you. So. start off right here we'll set that down right about in that place once you have everything unrolled out uh, everything's going to come into their own little piece when you first get it now like I've said before this is actually put together or I've been un been put up and down a couple of times and so I now have a how how to roll it up and Fold it up in the special origami masters that you have to uh, you have to have, which honestly is not hard at all. Uh, just a little bit of thinking, and if you have a husband or wife who has been in the Navy, then they definitely will know how to fold a lot of this stuff up. So anyhow, that's what we got right now. Is everything is together? I've got my tent stakes, my poles, uh, the cover the door or the wall and the doorway and all that it's all mixed in together so we're going to work on now getting everything put to get put up so to start off with you don't need to have the wall to begin with so let's just take it set it off to the side you don't need the top cover either the top cover is going to be one of the last things you put on also so we don't need it to the side you are going to need your poles and you're gonna need your stakes. Now you have two different types of stakes in here. And let's go ahead and just show this to you real quick. Because the two different types of stakes um, are actually really important. And you have eight. You have, I think there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Should have counted beforehand. You have eight of the heavy duty uh yellow stakes now the issue i have with these guys is that they are not that big and not that heavy duty they do a good job of, of doing it of holding stuff in the ground but where i work in oklahoma dirt here is actually really soft uh, we have really soft uh, clay dirt it's not hard packed or anything not to mention we've just had rain just uh, just a couple of hours ago um, you also have eight of the metal ones and these are more for um depending on who what you're needing them what you're needing i would use these more for holding the extremities or the extra parts down i would use at least four of these for um it helps if i can learn to count there we go <laughs> uh take four of these to hold the corners down and the four more of these uh would be for I would actually use these for holding the uh, lanyards down because you have guidelines to help really set everything down. One, especially when uh, when you put the uh, the canopy over the top. So you have eight of uh, of the wires. I'm trying to juggle all these is interesting. 
eight of the wires, which are just they would I would use them just strictly to hold the uh, the extra loops and stuff down because there are four eight loops. Uh, now there's more than eight. There are yeah, there are eight loops on the front and eight loops on the back, so that's why there's more. There's sixteen all together. So, mayhem. Best thing to do: start out with four of the yellows, and keep and keep the others uh, close to hand. Said have you four for the corners you want. So. Okay, so now we have our all four down, all four of the main pegs down. Don't really need to worry about adding any more pegs to anything. As of right now, uh, it's now time to actually get the poles in. When it comes to the poles, there are three different types of poles that you're going to have. You're going to have two sets that are for the main, what I call the main, and two that are the minor. And how did I tie this up? And two sets that are for the edges. And then you get one for the uh, for the canopy, which is again the red the red item, uh, the red cover. So you bring this out. You'll quickly be able to tell the sides are Are tricky. Anyhow, so you have one. There, there's one set. There is this one, which is another set. But, uh, for a different part. And so. There's one. They do fit together re really nicely. All right, so we have You got two, and these guys are really thick. The thicker ones are your main poles. Then you have, there we go. <laughs> and then you have two, uh, there's a uh, thinner uh, fiberglass pole. These are for the end, so you can actually just set them out. much and then these like I said these the slow guy this is going to be actually for your canopy and I'll show you where this goes in a short mount oh, in a short bit so we'll put that to the side because it's absolutely not needed so now what we're gonna do is go to set put in the, the poles so now we can put in the poles best thing to do is let physics work itself just not everything to fit together uh, 
down there. The ends actually have a break about halfway through, so you're going to have to make sure that you uh, re-thread at the halfway point, as you can see. Right there, halfway through. So. Until it comes, get it out. You're going to see on each end there are uh, feet for your for your poles. So you put the foot. Then finally we're down to our last one. And again, rinse and repeat for the fourth time. So there we go. Now we have all four of them in. So next step is put them all, put the far end into the cup. Which is just like that. So push it back through. Each hole has its own little cup. Once you have all the cups in place, now it's time just to go through and get everything set up. I actually prefer to do the main ones first, but you can actually go from side to side. I'll show you what happens on the side to side. Right. Oh. Came out of a cup, and it should tighten up. So let's try that again. <laughs> And once you get to the end, it's going to get kind of tight. But you can get to there. So it pops, just pops right in. And as you can see, what happens is I pull the stake out. Make sure this one's in. Now, as you can see, we lost our stakes. So, if that happens, just re-tighten it. And that'd be excessively tight, but you know, just tight. You want to be snug. And now, what I like to do is I like to go through and make sure that all the 
feet are sitting in a fairly natural position. Because there are. They can kind of bind up as you're tightening everything out. So there you have it. Boom! So as you can see, the initial tent, easy peasy lemon squeezy. No problems whatsoever, not a difficult challenge at all. Um, when it's time to put on the overhead, this can get a little tricky because there's a front and a back. And make sure you get now you're you're gonna have lanyards on both uh, on both ends, and they're basically all going to be on the corners. So, as you can see, this one here has got the curve on it. Come over this side. It's pretty much straight across. We've got a lip on that. So we now know that this is the front. You want to add side with the front? The front's the one that's got the. You got the uh, the curve. Now turn it upside. The best thing I found is to turn it upside down, and you've got clips that connect at the base of each one of the uh, poles. The pole sleeves is a hook. Now the next thing you want to do is after you have your tip, uh, your canopy on, uh, the next step you actually want to do is make sure that the outside, that the edge is on the outside of your outside pole. As you can see right here, that's not the case. So, work it around and it'll all just fall right in place like that. The other, other item that is really good to know is each each of these, there's, there's a Velcro tie down that you can use to tie this down to your, to the main pole. And I'm trying to do this blind, it's not working. Yeah, you can go through and at the red, on the red edges, there are, there's a place where the, the bar has a little gap, or the, the sleeve has a little gap, and that's where you can actually connect your, uh, your cover to the actual, to the actual top, ah, or your cover to the tent. Now, time for this little guy. This Inside, up under, underneath here, you're going to see a loop that's got a, a brass brad, uh, grommet in it. And what you do is you just stick one end in there. The end in the other side. And I messed up. You now have a fully completed tip. You now have a fully completed tip. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Like I said before, it is an easy tip to put up. Uh, very, uh, I can actually do a little bit more, uh, 
working and shuffling and really get everything in there just as, as tight and neat as I, as I could. But it's easy to go into. You have a neat port, so if you happen to have uh, a generator outside, you can actually run a lot of extension cord up and into it without actually compromising having to leave a door open. So, um, works great, in my, in my never to be humble opinion. So, you also have Door stays, so in case you like to have flies inside your uh, inside your tent, It'd be better if these were actually elastic. Um, so there's door stays. So in case you happen to enjoy having flies inside of your tent and stuff, you're actually able to just uh, put these back, roll it up, and it's just a thread through. You've got a cleat on one end and just roll it up and it's in the way, out of the way. Now, if you want your door, your wall, so that you and the wife are on one side and the kids are on the other, I'll keep the shoes up. you can actually You can actually just take that and put a wall up and it actually can go either on this side or this side there are actually connector loops on both sides because it's just it's like this right here it's just a loop and a, and a hook the connectors are uh, for can go or the room wall can go on either side you can put it on this side or this side it doesn't matter it's a lot like the uh, like for the canopy it's just a hook and a loop and you put them together and they're actually held together uh, you can actually have a, a zipper to hold everything uh, on so from here like I said I would use the heavy-duty stakes for your land yards on the ends and then use your hit light-duty stakes just for each of these little spaces right here. Because you've got, you got one space for one, two, three, and four. So in case you get a little more wind and it tries to do some lift up, at least have a little bit more resistance. Not much, but a little bit more. So, but anyhow, so that's the Wenzel Blue Ridge four person uh, or seven person tent. Okay, so that, there you go. That's the tent. I am loving this guy. Uh, I'm actually thinking of uh, seeing what the forecast is. Got some rain this morning. Hopefully, I don't think it's I don't think it's going to rain tonight. But who knows? It may. But um, I'm really tempted to give this puppy a try. Uh, grab a bunch of blankets and my pillow and, and, and act like a little kid for the day. So, <laughs> but anyhow, easy to put up. Uh, like I said, I forgot the directions, and it took me a couple of tries to figure out what goes where, when, and how. 
uh, like the uh, the canopy, uh, the little bitty short uh, short one. It took me the thir uh, second try to actually figure out. Oh, that's for the for the uh, for the the, the canopy. Um, and then, as you just saw, that's my third time, and I just then re uh, recognized there was a a, ball, a a sleeve on the inside of the flap to hold that. So there's <laughs> there's a lot to to still uh, to to learn. But it, so on the first try, I was able to make it habitable. Uh, there are plenty of uses that I can use on use for this. If we go to the lake and want to, uh, and Jaden wants to bring a couple of friends, all right, we we can get that. I may have to make sure that they don't smoke inside because I don't really want to have burn marks from them from them smoking <laughs> inside my tent. So, but uh, I'm sure it's uh, the inside of the floor is the is the thick plastic, so it's. It's going to handle, uh, hold up to your typical wear and tear, but uh, like I said, you want to make sure you, uh, you always want to have two more of those large, heavy-duty blue tarps that uh, a lot of people try to to cover uh, cover their their goods as they're trying to move it from one place to another. Um, they that works really good as a ground cover. So make sure you have that for a ground cover, and then an extra one to put on top. So just in case uh, you get a lot of rain and you find out that there's a, a pinhole or some type of hole in the in the cover, you've got a waterproof uh, item to set over the top of your tent, and you can just tie it down with some more parachute cord. Um, it is very durable, very rugged. I like what the thoughts of detail they put in there. Don't know how many people are actually going to use the e-port, that little play, little pocket uh, pass-through for an extension cord. But it is the camp, uh, it is the tent for the camp, and so people may have their car pulled up there, and they may have a, uh, a little portable generator that they bring with them. What do I think of this tent? I think it's worth every dollar that you put into it. Um, you can get it over on Amazon. At the time of me recording this, it was about $125 to $130. Um, you can buy it directly from Wenzel at Amazon. A uh, link to, uh, to Wenzel is, uh, to this uh, very same tent is in the description below. Um, also, I have a link to uh, my written review, uh, which scores out durability and all that uh, over on relaxedmail.com. Uh, and the link is also down below. So I uh, want to thank you for very much for taking the time to watch this. If you want to stay around just a little bit longer, I uh, will show you a high-speed version of how you take it down. Uh, to take it down and to fold it up is, is actually really easy, and I can actually just kind of explain it. Um, first off, take, uh, take your uh, poles out. Uh, pff, everything falls down. Well, correction. The way I have it set up right now, first take down your wall, then take off the canopy, and then you take the stakes, uh, your tent poles out. Everything comes down, pull up your stakes. Um, and then what you want to do is once you have it all flattened out, fold the front half, uh, front portion of the, uh, of the tent halfway across. The back half halfway across. Then fold the whole thing in half. So basically like you do a navy t-shirt where you got it all set up you got the arms set down you go half and half fold in uh, you'd go to a third a third or a quarter and a quarter anyhow you would fold it you would fold it and then it folded in half again so um, it is it's incredibly easy so once you get uh, those down you get put your tent uh, poles up you would fold fold them, the ends to the half to half way mark and then you'd fold it in half and then what you would do is take the end of your uh, of your tent and just I don't know maybe two foot worth fold it over and then that's a place where you could take your tent poles and you set them in there and they're going to be about that size um, and take all your tent poles your tent stakes take your your cover and your wall and just lay that in there you can fold it up as nicely as you want to have it, just but just lay it on top of there. And then, starting out with the tent poles, just roll the whole tent up. You're going to get to the end. There's going to be some trapped air, so you may have to kind of sit on it and just let the, force some of the air out. Once the air is out, you can finish rolling it up, and it fits into the bag 
beautifully. So it's a very easy to put up, very easy to take down tent. Uh, Wenzel, good job, guys. Y'all did a great job on this tent. Thank you again for uh, making this so that uh, so that I have some. Uh, I was had the opportunity to be able to buy my first tent. It's my tent, yay! So anyhow, y'all have a great rest of the week. I hope this uh, review has helped you in decision making. If you're getting ready to uh, just, uh, we're getting close to the end of the camping season for the most of the uh, fair weather campers. Uh, uh, you still have your winter and uh, or your fall campers who are just waiting for this to happen so they can wake up to a nice cool crisp autumn day which just is always an amazing thing especially when you're all bundled up in your sleeping bag and you wake up and you're like Whoo! <laughs> it's amazing feeling so um, uh, of course as you can tell I I'm, a, I'm a warm natured person so alright folks thank you again for everything you've uh, you've done and you have a great day